everyone, today I'm going to be doing a Primark haul. Um, I went there because I wanted to get some things. This is the smaller bag, by the way. Um, I wanted to get some, th I went there because I wanted to get some things um, because I'm going to France next weekend. Um, and I wanted to get some nicer pyjamas because I always look like such a slob, so I thought I'm gonna be with people, so I better actually make an effort. Um, so yeah, uh, so I'll just get into it. So the first thing I got is this um, cross, well, this eight pounds, can I speak? The first thing I got was this bag um, for eight pounds. Um, I love this emerald green kind of color. And I thought this would be really good to have it like crossbody um, because I'm gonna be carrying my like money and stuff around in this. Um, so I'm not going to take, I thought I won't take it off at all. I'll just have it like this all the time. So it's a bit harder, not impossible obviously, but it's a bit harder for someone to take it um, because they'll probably have to try and take me with them because I'm planning on like holding it like that the whole time or something. Um, but anyway, um, not impossible, not testing fate there, but I hope it would be a bit harder than if I just had it on my shoulder and whatever. And I really like it because it's completely zipped up, so more secure. There's a really decent space in there as well. And I love the smaller compartment um, too, so if there's something you want to grab quickly, I can just put it in there. I probably won't put like anything too important there because I guess it will be quite easy for someone just to open this up and grab something if I'm not paying too much attention. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be really nice um, and I love it. I love that the whole thing isn't um, hasn't got the gold chain, it's just a bit of it. I really like that, so yeah. I've got these sponges, um, blender sponges. Um, and I've already used a big one because I've completely lost mine. I don't know where they are. And I got this one, so this was £2.50 because I like that it has the little ones as well to get into like your eye area, your nose area, any small kind of areas. So that's why I went for this one. Then I also got this um, travel bottle set. So it has quite a few different sizes and this little storage thing here. And it has a little sieve thing to put your product in there. Um, this was one pound, which is insane. Um, this was one pound, but anyway. Um, and I thought rather than, you know, my cream for my face and um, for the dermatitis and mouthwash and all of that, I could just stick it in here and it would make it so much easier. And it even has like little labels as well. I think that you can just put them on, which is so, so good. Um, I think they are. So yeah, really impressed with that. Then I got this liquid matte, the nude edit um, set, but I thought I would try out their lipsticks, but my God, my gosh, do they have a lot of makeup now? Like they have different foundations, they have like uh, skincare, like eye, um, eye cream, like masks, but proper masks, you know, not like those, they used to have ones by other brands, but like their own stuff. And I'm like, I went there yesterday and uh, the Primark I went to, I wasn't too keen on um, compared to the one I usually go to, but I was shocked at their beauty um, range. It really looks like a rip off of Kylie Cosmetics, like the way the, so I got the colour, I don't even know what they are. Rosetto, nope. I have no idea what these colours are. But yeah, I got these, um, so they're nudie colours. Maybe I'll try one on my hand just to see. Goes on quite nicely actually. So there you can hopefully see them. Quite a nice colour. So, that... so then I got these pearl earrings for £1.50. I think you can't go wrong with a pearl and it's so nice just to have different sizes. You know, the little ones if you're just going to work and just want to have something small and simple or the bigger ones if it's a nicer event. And I just feel like these are so easy just to pop on and like make you look so much better. But then I also got this other uh, lipstick. 
matte lipstick which was reduced to one pound um, so I thought why not and it's in the shade chocolate and then I really need a blush so I thought I'll try this one um, and it was one pound fifty. Oh, it's got the leaping bunny logo that's good uh, when I bought these after I bought them I was like crap I didn't check to see if they're cruelty free but okay that's made me a bit relieved um, it just completely slipped my mind but anyway I like this kind of colour um, this is the shade I tend to go for and this is in f I don't know what shade this is guys but anyway very nice okay then I went for a perfume I went for New York Calling um, to me, I tried a few and I love these kind of cheap perfumes just so I can put on with tops like this, tops that I'll wash after using it once or maybe twice, depends on how long I use it for. But um, I don't like to waste expensive perfumes on this, these types of this type of clothing. I'd rather use the expensive stuff on, you know, if I'm going somewhere very nice, like a very special occasion or on outer layers like a coat or a cardigan, something that I won't wash as often. Um, so for stuff like this, I like to use cheaper perfumes. So I went for New York Calling and to me it was just the most florally scent they had there. The other ones were a lot more citrusy. Um, so yeah, I went for this one and it's nice and floral. So I got some hair ties for one pound these are for really thick hair um i lo have this which i love um and it's my favorite but it's the only one i have so when it gets a bit messed up um i'll have these to spare and i won't have to worry about losing this one then i got this purse for three pounds usually i'm not a fan of purses that are this small um but i thought it would be good for my trip and um, because it would take up less space i hope um, so it, I love that it folds out because uh, one thing that annoys me is trying to get things out of a very small space. Um, so yeah, I can easily put any cash there. I can put my cards here, so my ID there maybe. Um, and then it has this coin part at the back, which is quite a good size. So yeah, I was really impressed with this and I think it's so pretty as well. I love the pink with the little gold bow. Um, and three pounds is amazing. So I think I'll be taking this on my travels. Then I got these memory foam slippers for four pounds. Um, I love myself some good slippers, but I really needed some new ones um, because my ones that I use now are a bit tatty. Um, so I thought I would buy some new ones for the trip and then just obviously use them when I come back. Um, so these are so soft and they have the little cute heart details. Um, and yeah, they're per memory foam apparently, so that's good. And yeah, what more to say, they're just a comfy pair of slippers. And the other shoes I got were also these for £10, they're workout trainers. Um, so I use trainers quite a lot now because I'm walking quite a bit to and from um, my job. And yeah, I just thought, I mean, I hope these are good. Um, they're a bit different to the ones I'm currently using, which were also from Primark. They were six pounds and they're not there anymore. I should have bought like five pairs. Um, so that's sad. But anyway, hopefully these are good and they're black. So my other ones are pink, so they stand out a bit more. So these will blend in. But I do like my pink ones, but yeah, these will blend in a bit more. This guy, uh, this is eight pounds. Um, so this is going to be my nighty in France. Um, because they didn't have that good a, a range when I went there yesterday, which was a bit of a shame because usually Primark are amazing for pajamas and stuff. So I settled with this, which I mean, I love a bit of Tweety. Um, yeah, so I went with Tweety, um, and he it's a it's a she, right? Tweety's a she. So um, yeah. I thought she looked, you know, very sassy and I like that the sleeves are longer and hopefully it's going to be very baggy and it's yellow so I'll be like a big yellow chicken. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I thought I would, it's nice. And it's very long as well, I don't, hopefully you guys can see, it's a very big length, long length. Can't speak. And I went for a bra, I'll just show you guys quickly because I don't know, something about showing people your underwear is a bit weird. Um, I don't know how much this was guys, okay I have no idea how much this was but it's wireless, 
Um, so I thought that would be comfortable. Oh no, the price is here. This was five pounds. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be super comfy. And yeah, just a black bra. Okay, I love to sleep with pajama bottoms, even if I have a nighty. Um, so I got these for I don't know how much these were, maybe six pounds. But they're meant to be narrow legs, so that would be quite good when you're sleeping. Because sometimes it annoys me when um, trousers like ride up. But obviously I don't want them to be too tight, so I'll have to try these on and see what they're like. Um, but yeah, I'm not too keen on this floral pattern up here, but it will be hidden anyway by my pyjama top, so it doesn't matter. And it has pockets, which is always good. <clears throat> what happened to my voice there? Um, then I got some more wireless bras. Wow, really? These were £8, so there's a black one a uh, nude one and a white one again I thought they would be really comfy um, and there's a nice coloring so if you're wearing a white top or whatever you have a right bra to match I got this travel pillow for six pounds this is um, obviously Minnie Mouse style it's not I don't know how good it will be to be honest to sleep in it needs to be a bit poofier I think Maybe it could work. Maybe if I put something else there. Yeah. But anyway, I thought I would probably take it to... Because I'm travelling there by train. Because um, I hate flying. Um, so, yeah. I might try and sleep on the train. Because my train is super early. It leaves at 20 to 6 in the morning, I think. Um, it was the cheapest one. So, yeah. 26 in the morning. So I'll probably have to be there at, like, I don't know four-ish in the morning so I, I'm gonna try and sleep because there's not that much to see anyway on the Eurostar um, when you're traveling so yeah and I'm catching another train after the Eurostar but I probably won't sleep on there probably not so yeah anyway actually now that I was just thinking because I'm traveling my own I don't know if I want to sleep because I'll be a bit paranoid about my stuff. Anyway, that's something to think about. Um, then I got this scarf for £2. I thought this would be quite nice for spring when it's just a bit chilly. Um, so you still want something, but not something too thick. So this is really nice to the material, and I love the pale blue colour. Then I got these Friends um, pyjama bottoms for £10. They just say Central Park on them. They are so, so soft, guys. So, so soft. Um, so I definitely recommend these. Um, and even if I don't use them to sleep I'll definitely be using them around the house because they are amazing and then I got these hipster um, pants and they're just very like thin and very nice and they're meant to be invisible um, so you don't get any VPL um, and these were five pounds and there's three sets there so yeah looking forward to using these they seem comfortable then I got a 2 metre um, charging cable for my phone, this was £4. I got one of these a few months ago, maybe not a few months, maybe like early last year. I don't know when but I did get one in the last, some point in the past. Um, the one I have now still works but it's slightly starting to detach um, from the point where you plug it into the computer or um, plug thing <laughs> but um yeah I thought I would get another one just to just when that one messes up because these are really good they charge quickly I love that they're long so you don't have to worry about being close to the cable I mean close to the computer or whatever um so yeah very very good I love this and the last exciting thing I got were these socks for £1.80 I love Primark socks they don't last that long which is a shame um but I just love them, I go back to them. They're quite cheap, so, you know, I do get quite a bit of use out of them um, for the price, so, yeah, I love these. So that's my haul, I hope you enjoyed. I know there's no items of clothing, there aren't that many items of clothing, well, there are, but they're mostly pyjamas, so I know that's a bit disappointing maybe for some of you. I just went there and there was like, I saw one polka dot shirt, which I quite liked, it was like a minty one. 
but they're, all the sizes were really small, um, so no way it would have fit me. And I don't know, I was a bit disappointed, but I don't know if it was at Primark, because I've never really shopped there properly. So it could just be that Primark that's a bit poopy, because um, I didn't go to my usual ones. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Um, and if you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!